In 2018, something pretty amazing happened at the Eclulet Aquarium. Something unique for us. In almost 15 years of collecting, caring for, and releasing animals from the BC coastline, we found a living mermaid's purse. A mermaid's purse is an egg case laid by certain cartilaginous fish such as skates, sharks, and ratfish. There is a pretty large variety in mermaid's purse shapes and sizes. In fact, there's enough of a difference between them that a practiced eye can usually tell which species laid the mermaid's purse just by looking at it. That's how we knew that the mermaid's purse we cared for was one laid by a big skate, also known as the Pacific Great Skate. A skate looks a lot like a ray, think stingray, but there are a number of differences between the two groups of fish. Rays give live births, have long, thin tails, often have stingers along their tails, and have plate teeth for crushing prey, or in the case of manta rays, are filter feeders. Skates, by comparison, lay egg casings called mermaid's purses, have thick, fleshy tails, can have barbs on their tails, and have sharp, pointed teeth. The big skates we have here are the largest species of skate along the Pacific coast of North America. Okay, back to the mermaid's purse. Mermaid's purses are pretty incredible. They're made out of a super tough collagen fiber that protect the young animals that are inside. The casing is the only thing between the baby fish and predators since the mothers don't stick around to protect or raise them. By contrast, most other fish eggs have a thin membrane surrounding them. This means they're less protected, but it also means that gas exchange is much easier. As fish develop gills, they need to have access to oxygen. A mermaid's purse, on the other hand, has thick collagen fibers that do not allow oxygen through to the baby fish. Thus, the egg case needs to be opened slightly to allow fresh water in. It's not uncommon for empty egg cases to wash up on local beaches, which is especially common after big storms, but finding one that still has life in it is pretty unusual. Once the case opened naturally, it was time for us to see if there was anything inside. Very, very carefully, our marine biologists cut a small window out of the egg casing and saw the most incredible thing. Three, developing big skates, alive and well. We quickly replaced the missing square of collagen casing with a flexible, transparent sheet. This sheet would allow us to watch the development and growth of the skates while maintaining the structural integrity of the case. We watched as their eyes developed, their yolk sacs shrank, their tails grew, and they developed colors and patterns on their skin. The gestation period for a big skate is anywhere from 9 months to 11 months, depending on the water temperature and oxygen saturation. Our aquarium runs as a flow-through system, meaning we get our water from the ocean right outside. Because of this, we were able to provide the skates with the same water temperature, oxygen, and salinity as they would have had in the wild. Since we weren't sure how old they were when their egg case washed ashore, we could not be certain when they would hatch. So we watched and waited and watched some more. And then one day, nine months later, they hatched. With their yolk sac slowly being absorbed back into their bodies, they began eating. Little pieces of krill were their favorite, but they also ate tiny marine worms, clams, mussels, and even little shore crabs. In late October, our veterinarian gave them a good looking over and confirmed that they were healthy, hunting, and ready to go home. We applied for a release permit from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans Canada, and before we knew it, the release day was upon us. It was a day of mixed emotions. We were sad to say goodbye to these tiny creatures that we'd grown to love so much, but seeing them go back was incredible. Our mission at the Euclid Aquarium is to raise awareness about local marine biodiversity and promote respect for the ocean environment. These incredible young animals touch the lives of millions of visitors, online followers, and community members. This has been such a wonderful journey for our tiny end-of-the-road community on the far west coast of Canada. 
and we're so happy that we could share it with such a large audience. We hope we can continue to have a positive influence on this incredible coast and ensure a future for an ocean healthy enough to support the lives of the animals that live here now and in generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this amazing journey from all of us at the Eclulet Aquarium.